How did the beginning uh, go? Because uh, for both of you, it was a pretty new business, I would say. To be honest, I thought dropshipping was dead because I didn't believe it was like the real business. So I started to do some research in dropshipping and that was the moment that I reached out to Lars as well. I think I know something that uh, really could work out for both of us. And yeah, that was last year, February. What type of store, which market? How did you guys go about doing it? We had a general store, just testing, testing, testing. Most products that got a winner was fashion. Yeah, and also different to other people. We started like purely on TikTok. Did that pay off that was just TikTok? TikTok was good. Yeah, was we did our good. first 100k month in June. Okay. Started this program, I think at the end of July or something. And July was the best month ever. What kind of numbers are you doing right now? Or what was like the, the best days? Uh, in July we did 28k or something. Can you maybe share how the experience is right now? And yeah, the good thing is, especially Ruben, he gets a solution for everything ecom there are always obstacles and problems and if you can fix that fast and with good solution i think you're always one step forward yes guys welcome to a new interview of millionaire commerce this one is very nice it's with lars and milan guys they were able to do 600,000 in a single month with 40 percent profit margin guys so about 200k profit in one single month selling fashion so we'll dive very deep into this interview show you exactly what the strategy is the systems they applied and how they were able to scale so fast to these numbers go enjoy all right guys welcome to another interview i'm here with uh, yeah two of my uh, my clients they've been uh, coached by my uh, brother ruben they've been doing uh, yeah, some uh, very solid uh, results uh, yeah so Keep watching for sure. Um, so yeah, guys, can both of you uh, introduce yourself? How long uh, have you been in the ecom game and how are things going right now? Yeah, so I will start then. Uh, my name is Milan. I'm, uh, I started with ecom since four years ago. Uh, I started with ball.com. Uh, it didn't really work out that well. Uh, and then since I think one and a half year ago, I started with Lars, uh, this dropshipping business. And that really uh, started to, uh, yeah, pop off much faster than uh, than, for example, with Bolt.com. It was much longer, longer game. Uh, you cannot scale that quick, etc. So, when I started with dropshipping, it was uh, a different, different game. Much, much more fun. Much more uh, possibilities as well. What, what was the main uh, difference with uh, with ball and dropshipping? Yeah, with ball you need to buy the stock directly, so you need to ship from China to the Netherlands, and yeah, you, you you don't have that proof of concept before you you that that's the good thing with dropshipping, right? You you can start just by testing, uh, and when it works, you can buy in inventory, and, and yeah, sending from China is much much better than. Uh, Sending it to Netherlands, it will take so much time, more money you need for, for it. And you can scale to the moon with dropshipping, right? You don't have yeah. to worry. So that's uh, the big difference. Yeah. Nice. I'll introduce you, myself as well. Yeah, my name is Lars, uh, 32 years old from the Netherlands. Now currently living in Spain also because uh, we started this, uh, this business together. Um, before this, I was I was selling shoes to to clients all over the world, um, but like on StockX on on Goat, uh, and I had I like a, I was working at, at the government in Holland, but yeah, I didn't like that so much anymore. And we started a business also with a purpose to to just uh, be wherever we want to be uh, in the world uh, to be a bit more free. So that's why we started uh, with a lot of energy uh, and with a lot of uh, positivity. So and just. Yes, like Milan said, from there, from from the beginning, it already went like really good. Uh, we started with drop shipping, and now we're going more and more to like branded drop shipping, like uh, making the quality of 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 like our best sellers better, uh, checking what competitors are doing, what what is selling really good for them, and also make those products ourselves. Like the proof of concept they have, we can just copy that and and, and make the winners ourselves. That's great. Well, no, normally I always, of course, start with like the, the backstory, want to dive in it as well, of course. But um, how is it like right now, life in Spain and you guys working from your laptop? 
Yeah, I must say it's it's really good, especially now in uh, in summer. Uh, I have my apartment here, um, swimming pool. Food is good. Uh, the people are nice. So yeah, it's 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 just good that you can work wherever you want to work with, with this kind of businesses. And yeah, that's that's like a, a really nice thing. What what made you guys decide to do that? And did you guys straight away uh, because you are business partners, right? Um, uh, move together or how did that go no no no. i'm still living in the netherlands it, it's mm. funny because i was i was planning a trip to madrid to visit we are um basically we're, we're friends so we started this business together as friends so it's um that's how it started and then Lars moved to uh to spain i still live in the netherlands but yeah a good reason to visit him some days so, um, Lars, how, how did you get into uh, dropshipping? Because you did StockX and work for the government. Yeah, yeah, mainly because uh, b- because Milan told me uh, in those days, like uh, I, I have something that I want to do, but uh, yeah, he wanted to do it together. Um, and from the moment he, he told me, like, what was the plan? I was like, okay, let's get it, let's let's get it done. And for me, it was a perfect opportunity because. I have my girlfriend here in Spain, um, and and yeah, the, the plan was for me like to yeah, or, or she's gonna move to Holland, or I'm gonna move to Spain. And the last thing like moving to Spain, uh, yeah, was was better for us. So this business uh, was like perfectly at that moment for us to start, and especially also for me. So yeah, that that was the moment we just decided to uh, to do it. Very good. Yeah. And um, yeah, for for you, Milan, you was already. Uh, Kind of okay. I uh, am done with ball ball dot com, or was there another reason why you uh, was like I'm gonna jump on dropship? Yeah, it was going too slow, man. That was the real uh, reason that I um, started to look for. Yeah, to be honest, I thought dropshipping was dead because I always sh- saw like the the advertisements five years ago, and I didn't believe it was it was like the real business. Um, but then, yeah, ball yeah it went very slow and uh, didn't make really progress i didn't I, I thought there was i was stuck at a level so i need I, I really was aiming for more and more I, I really want to build a business so i started to do some research in dropshipping and uh, yeah that was the moment that i reached out to Lars as well i think i think i know i know something that uh, really could work out for both of us and yeah, that was the beginning and that was last year february yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then a week after, so, we went to the yeah. uh, the cafe car in Holland to 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 get like a company together, and we started like yeah. from the moment uh, right away. So so how how did the beginning uh, go? Because uh, for both of you, it was uh, a, a pretty new business, I would say. And yeah, what what were kind of like? Uh, where did you guys start with? What was the strategy? What what type of store? Which market? How did you guys go about doing it? Yeah, it was. We tested so many shit shit products, but we had a general store, just testing, testing, testing. And what we saw was, like, out of all these products, I think most products that got a winner was was fashion. Yeah. So after yeah. after some months, we 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 saw the pattern repeat. So every time we saw the fashion items got us a winner instead of like the, the other gadgets, etc. Yeah. And also different to other people that, that start. We started like purely on, on, on TikTok, not on Meta or anything, but just like on TikTok making like uh, movies to or, or like short movies for yeah for people mm-hmm. to to reach out to our items. So what, what, did, did that pay off or... or? with just yeah. TikTok or yeah TikTok was good I mean yeah, we did really our good. first 100k month in June okay yeah June. with only only TikTok I think we had a row of four so yeah. it was really good but we it was good had any experience with with Meta and then we start talking to some other guys and they were talking about hey, how do you do that with only TikTok and then we started with Meta Google etc yeah. But yeah, we basically started with uh, only TikTok ads. Yeah. What 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 made that work for you guys? Because did you take on any uh, 
help or coaching to do, set that up on, on, on the TikTok? Or was it just the product? Was it the way you guys found maybe creatives that you saw on TikTok? Or because, uh, of course, like now with the numbers you guys now do, like 100K a month is not that much, but as a beginner, 100K a month is like your first big milestone, right? It yeah. was crazy. It was real. Yeah, orders coming in. You know, at, at first, you know, a milestone is already like a thousand a day or something. And you're on Shopify every time, like, oh, another order, another <laughs> order. And it's like, yeah, it's like dopamine you, you get from there. Yeah. <laughs> first 100K more was, of course, yeah, big. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what, what really worked for us is we found like a way to make the creatives that attracted people, especially for the fashion needs. We had like uh, something we did with, with like a good intro with like a text that, that like uh, make make people like think, oh, I need to get this as well. And that, that was what, what really worked for us. And we just did everything with, with those intros. And uh, yeah. Yeah, more focused on getting them or, or buying them the lifestyle instead of buying yeah. the product. Yeah. That's, that's yeah, the dream outcome. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. So I think that that made a difference from the beginning uh, because we also used that kind of videos on Meta afterwards and then it really yeah. started to pop up. And we didn't expect it to work on Meta wow. as well. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. So was it basically like r rinse and repeat like the same what you guys did on TikTok is what you started doing on uh, Meta or yeah. Exactly. And what and what what happened what happened when you guys started doing that? Yeah, we doubled our revenue. Uh, I think from from August or well, September we started with Meta, uh, but yeah, we had no experience with that. So yeah, to be honest, also a lot of uh, ad spend were uh, yeah. How do you say that? Yeah, we're just thrown away. Yeah. Thrown, yeah. thrown yeah. away, and and, and and we work with a media buyer then an agency, etc. Yeah, and, and, and after a while, I think in September or October, yeah, we really did start to pop off to 200K, maybe maybe even more. Uh, and then we had Meta, uh, TikTok, and also a little bit of Google working. So, yeah, that was much, much better than only uh, TikTok for sure. Yeah. What, what, what were maybe the biggest challenges to go to that level, to like 200 or 300K uh, a month? Yeah, well, it was also what I think was the problem. Yeah, we, we just focused like purely on, on TikTok at first and we didn't have much experience with, with the other things. Um, also, the scaling was a bit of a problem. Like we didn't know how to scale really good. Also, sometimes with TikToks, we had like winners and then after a while, they just, yeah, it, it just faded away. So I think that was like the main uh issue we had back then yeah i think media buying for sure yeah i think we were struggling with it as i said we were doing i was trying it myself Lars tried it himself uh, we hired some shitty shitty agencies shitty freelancers um yeah i think that was the real difference then then we found a really good one we're still working with him and yeah. he's 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 very good i think that made a, a, a real difference yeah how, how did you guys find that agency at the time? Maybe for people listening, like, or was it just through the network uh, of you know, talking with other dropshippers perhaps? Yeah, 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 for sure that the, the connections. Yeah. So, yeah, well, um, at this time, is it still general dropshipping but fashion? No, it's not general anymore. We are no. we are really okay. building a brand now. Uh, and, yeah, yeah, not general at all. Is is that also what kind of made the shift for you guys to really making it successful and profitable, or were you guys before that already like doing good, and then later you were like, okay, this can be a, more of a brand? Um, yeah, more the idea was we had l last summer we sold a lot of clothes, um, and back then we were like really hyped about it. But then like after one and a half or two months, we used Klarna back then. We got a lot of returns. And, and in the end, we, we just looked at our profit sheet and it was like, yeah, not as much as we, as we hoped and not as, not as good as, as we thought it would be. So that was also like the point, like, okay, if, if, we, if we're if we going to sell these products, we need to have better quality. So that's when we started to think about, okay, uh, we need to do it more branded, like getting 
better quality products, making them ourselves, but better, like with tailored fit, uh, better quality, in, not like polyester, but like real linen or, or cotton. And that's what helped us as well, like especially this summer also. Yeah, we see like a, a big drop on, on returns from people and also like on, on people complaining about about things. So, yeah, they are more satisfied. So that's like really a, a big shift we we made. So how, how, how did the, the the following months like after September go? And when, uh, also, when did you guys decide to join the, the coaching program? So, yeah, we did a pretty good Q4 last last year. Uh, what did we do in December? I think 350k or something. And November almost 500. December oh, almost sorry. 400. Yeah. Yeah. And then we got stuck at that point. I think January, February. In February was uh, not that good, but I think we got stuck at 300, 400. That yeah. that that range. And yeah, then we did 500 in June, last June. And we started this program, I think at the end of July or something. Um, more like half July, I think. Half yeah. July. yeah. And July was the best month ever. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, yeah, T tell me how did uh, how did it start in the program for you guys? Um, what was your guys' uh, experience? Yeah, we were already thinking about joining uh, uh, your course like way longer ago, but. Yeah, in, in, in those times, like, like, yeah, we were already like on a level we wanted to go higher, but we were still like doubting about, okay, yeah, what can it bring us? And then we, uh, uh, we saw like, uh, this program you were offering with, with all the things, like, especially like the connection things, uh, the solutions you have also like the, the company structure, uh, to get it better as well. And now we just decided, okay, now is the time to, to just move, especially. Uh, for in Q4, we just we just need to get like to the to the one million month. So yeah, that's really the point when we decided, okay, we need to go for this, and and we don't need to wait. We just need to do it right now. Yeah, and also I want to add to that. Um, I mean, you you have one of the biggest fashion brands of, from the people that I know, and I mean we have a fashion brand, so it's very logical that that we yeah. start a mentorship with you. It wouldn't make sense if we start a mentorship with with anyone else that's selling uh, TV random stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's it's we can learn so so much from your uh, organization yeah. structures everything. So that's the main reason, of course, to join your program. Yeah, yeah, because we what we do is in the, kind of the same street, right? So yeah, that also brings to the question like, what is your guys's goal with like your current? Uh, uh, branded store uh, because uh, you guys fulfill everything uh, from China, right? But you're now going more on like uh, the branded route. So what is your guys' goal? And maybe um, for the people listening or watching, how, how branded is your store right now? Um, or how branded do you want to make it? Yeah, we really want to build a, a real brand like, like for example, Icon. Uh, we also started with with international campaigns to the US, the UK, Australia, and it really uh, started to work out. So, yeah, our goal is to to scale worldwide, and yeah, then we really need to have a little bit more branding, I think, because we also have um, no label products still. We we also we have like the half of our inventory or half of our products are in stock, and the rest we do dropshipping still. So. I think there's still much more room to to go fully mm. branded. Yeah. Yeah. So really build something uh, like long term. I do think our like shipping from China will still be good, but then just of course with your own uh, stock custom yeah. products. I think you guys are also right now working on like the business structure and stuff, right? Uh, yeah, which is also way better that way. Yeah. Yeah, that was also like a, a really important thing why we wanted to join your course because we can see like you you build your company like in a really good way um and, and that's what we want to do for ourselves as well like for now example yeah we're still in the business like 24 7 um and eventually yeah you want to have some more time for, for for more important things you know and sometimes 
uh, we are too much in the business itself, but we want to go step out a bit and, and have like more the overview. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was also a really important thing why we wanted to join uh, your course. Yeah, that's the next the next goal for you guys, right? Because um, well, what what kind of uh, numbers are you doing right now? What was like the the best days you guys were able to generate? Uh, in July we did twenty eight k or something. Yeah, between um, 25, 28. That was kind of the rate that we did in uh, in July. Now we got a little bit drop off. Uh, yeah. we, it's now in between the summer and, and uh, autumn winter collection, so we can see like uh, a little bit of a drop in the summer collection. Mm -hmm. So we uh, yeah we have now some campaigns set up uh, um, to 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 make yeah, yeah to make good sales. And I think at the end of August, yeah, we really need to make the shift to to more the autumn and the winter collection. But we're really busy on that one. For example, uh, today we had a shoot in Madrid uh, with some products of us. Uh, we're busy with like other things uh, where we want to have like a really big shoot with um, we get the samples like uh, yeah, in one week or something so yeah we're already thinking about Q4 now yeah that's good because what I've seen with fashion and your content is so crucial it's it's unbelievable because yeah you have to look at it you know um, the people they don't see the product in person they cannot try it on they don't feel the material so the sole reason for people to purchase it is what they see and their their dream outcome, like we were just talking about. So it's so important that the product looks good on the the, the, the model, for example, or or the, the the pictures you have, right? So also for you guys going forward, you know, um, they, I, I've learned this also the hard way, you know, like if you don't take uh, the shoots too seriously or the simply effect of shipping a, a size too big can fuck up your shoe, your shoes right so but um it's good that you guys are now really moving towards building it like into a brand so yeah the next step should be to step out of like the the more of the day-to-day -day and focus more on the things that you cannot replace easily um look with time everything you can replace yourself but I would still, if I was you, be in more of like the creative type of uh, role, like um, when it comes to wh which direction do we want the brand to go? What type of products do we want to sell? What is working for us? Which ad creatives, uh, let's say, but you don't want to be the one like executing everything. It's the same with my role or more, uh, let's say Ruben's role right now, come up with the ideas, share it with the team, share it with like the the COO in the company and that person just uh, make sure it gets done right and then you yeah. have so much more free time to do other stuff which is also uh, <laughs> it's also good yeah yeah for sure yeah we're currently uh, yeah, working hard on this one as well yeah how, how, how can you maybe share how, how is right now the your your team structure uh, you know um, because you guys are, are at the moment doing uh, this is like 20k a day or something yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah. we have we have of course customer support team first thing you need to do guys everyone yeah yeah please <laughs> we did it don't hire your sister we did it as your mom. Mom. oh yourself it's even worse yeah and then oh, we went bro. like it's it's a it's a good story but yeah in the end it, it's it, it was not good but yeah we 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 went on holiday, right? Or I went on holiday. Um, so yeah, we needed to 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 divide it more. Like uh, once Milan needed to do it, and the other day I needed to to do it on my holidays. So that was like really annoying. And from that moment on, we were like, we cannot do this anymore. Well, we did, we did 100k and still doing the customer support ourselves. Yeah, we had like <laughs> crazy 100 meals a day or something. Yeah, I yeah. got depressed as well. <laughs> Hey, because you get depressed because the only yeah. people who are like going into your, your mails are like people who, who want something or who are not satisfied, you yeah. know, and, and when you get so many orders a day, yeah, you just feel like, nah, this is not good. And, and in the beginning, you're still, or at least if I talk for myself, kind of like this, uh, you're a bit in this, this hustle type of phase. You think I'm just making money and no, I, I do this, uh, 
I do this myself. You're not thinking big enough. You know, you're not thinking yeah. like this is an actual b big business I'm building. I was like, I'm drop shipping, you know, yeah. <laughs> and I was just looking at profits. Yeah. Yeah. We had the same. Yeah. But then we had the custom support team and it was a, a release for sure. And now we do, we're, we're looking for a creative strategist or in the process to hire someone. Yeah. Um, and that will be a big difference as well, because then we can test out way more creatives. Um, and next to that, we have a phot photographer uh, in-house. So that's pretty good. He's also our model. So um, that, and we do have a media buyer uh, and an agency for TikTok as well right now because of you. Okay. You oh, recommend very good. You recommended the, yeah. the guy like Dennis and uh, yeah, we are, for mm -hmm. now, yeah, in the beginning, we were already really happy with him, and uh, yeah, he's yeah. a great guy. Yeah, he, he, he's he's a very good for us. I remember when we started, uh, or before we started with him, we asked like our agency that run like the meta ads, like uh, we want to do TikTok as well. They said uh, TikTok doesn't work for your type of product, uh, doesn't work for uh, for for your type of fashion that you sell for men's. But then uh, later we gave it a try with. Uh, with uh, this uh, agency that you guys now also use. And then we, uh, in the beginning, we had like a, just a row as of uh, a little below two. Then we gave some more time because it, it needed some time to properly warm up. But now we are on a solid row as four, you know? So uh, yeah, it's, great. it's great. Yeah, and they, they also make like the creatives for us as well, which we could also test out on, on Meta uh, as well. So that's also like a really good thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah. So, yeah, what, what I, one question I wanted to ask is um, if you guys look at your, your, what you are doing right now or your, uh, your store and um, if you compare it, let's say, with maybe people in the beginning or the, the competitors that are, are in doing shit, like what, what do you, would you say differentiate you a bit or what, what made you guys uh, do these kind of numbers um yeah just what makes you guys uh, different because i know often especially with if you do a branded you have to here and there do something a slightly a bit different to stand out or maybe the the rest of the competition just uh if let's say if we talk about dropship is a dropship fashion they only look at other dropshippers. They don't yeah. uh, look at the brands. They don't try to make things look nice. So if you are then the one stepping out with very good content or you make the website look very sleek, that can already be that, that edge, right? So what, what would you guys say is maybe your edge on why you guys are do, doing these numbers for the past uh, months? Yeah, good point. I think I think we really care about our products, first of all, we re we, and, and, and our customers as well. Because, yeah, if we wear it ourselves, for example, would, would we be happy with the quality, you know? And we, we had the period last summer, we, we ordered some products from China. And <laughs> what the fuck is this? We cannot sell this, this shit. And, and then we upgraded the products. And I think that's, that's one of the things that we do different. And, of course, the content. The content is key. Yeah. It is really key. Because with the content, you can make the advertisements. And with the advertisement, you're going to sell. Mm. That, that really yeah. boosted, boosted the sales for us. And yeah, we, we use content for everything on our website, like banners, uh, product photos with, with, the, with an outfit on and advertisement. So yeah, that, that was, that was like a, that's like a real big thing. Yeah, I think also the reason why we're shooting right now in, in Madrid, uh, we have three days of shooting. I mean... I don't know a lot of dropshippers doing that with that dropshipping store. So I think that's, that's a, a huge difference. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's very good because people really need to understand that, you know, that, uh, if you just take one extra step, often it can lead to big results, especially with, uh, because often with e-com, uh, many people sell either the same type of products or they are in the same type of niche. But there are just uh, a couple brands that take uh, a huge slice of the cake, you know, and that's simply often because they just make it look a bit better. So, um, yeah, what what are your guys' future plans right now? Um, because uh, 
it's now one and a half years or so within ecom um you guys are now uh yeah business partners how, how is that going is your sole focus this store or do you maybe want to expand to a new store uh new new markets or but what is the future focus yeah um so, so the focus is now still on uh, on our current uh web shop um but yeah, we, we for sure have other plans as well, you know, um, but but right now we are also like still testing, still making products better. And, and, and if it goes like like really booming even more, then we can always decide, OK, we're, we're going to start this over. But then as a, as a real brand, for example, or when we have a little bit more time, yeah, we can we, we can try out to, to make like a, another website as well. But then like in a different direction. So that's what we're really thinking about uh, right now. But currently, yeah, we, we just want to have like a big Q4 to uh, to get a lot of money uh, on a bank account right now. And then, then we can have like a uh, focus on the new plans. Yeah, I think we need to we need to get ourselves out of the operations more because there are so many possibilities and change, changes in, in, in e-com as well, because you have so many more niches that are interesting. I think fashion is one of the biggest and and yeah maybe one of the easiest way to sell something but yeah you have so many other opportunities and but yeah we we need to keep the focus on this because otherwise we will uh yeah not get to the point that we want to go i mean one million a month is still the goal but i think we can even look bigger if we see yeah. your your guys doing these kind of numbers i mean yeah, that, that also get get us motivated as well. I mean, yeah. the numbers that you guys are doing that shows what what what's possible. And please keep sharing that because it uh, gets it gets us motivated. <laughs> yeah, it's for guys like you, right? Yeah. yeah so, but it, it's crazy that um, uh, it's it's a journey, you know. Because when I look back in time, to me it's sometimes mind blowing that I did my first one million month in two thousand twenty one end of 2021 you know and i was just uh what is it 21 years old or 22 years old right and i yeah. my business was structured like shit, bro what you guys have i didn't even have 20 uh, percent of that <laughs> so that and and that just shows also how how quick things can move so you guys to, to go to one million a month it can happen in the next month if you, you guys just make a few of the right moves uh it's nothing more than that right same with you guys going to these numbers right now. So, yeah, same to you guys. Like, uh, keep keep going, right, with this uh, with this shit and uh, become uh, one of my best clients uh, after we. <laughs> yeah, that's the goal, of course. Yeah, yeah we have so, still until yeah. December, so uh, we will prove it. We will prove yeah. it. Yeah, you guys are here for uh, a long while, so that's good. You know, we have so much stuff to implement and um, the that, that will pay off, you know, because also the things we do with uh, you guys, you know, in the, in the mastermind, it, it, uh, it's like expansional gro growth because when you're, let's say you're in the beginning stages from maybe zero to 100 K, it's like you're in like the wild west. A lot of things you have to learn, a lot of different shit to implement. Yeah. But with you guys right now, it's just pick and choose the right things. Okay. This agency that on, on, on the way we change the store this uh, this product and it can boom right a couple uh, good decisions can really bring you already to a, a million a million a month so that's why i like to work uh, with guys like you right yeah. so um i know you guys aren't at the end of the program yet but um yeah can you maybe share how the experience is uh, is, is right now how has the experience been yeah i think we're now uh, one month or something in the program and yeah the good thing is uh, especially Ruben, uh, he gets a solution for everything. And that's <laughs> that's one of the biggest things in e-com. There are always obstac obstacles and, and problems. And if you can fix that fast and, and with good solution, I think you're always one step forward for the rest. Yeah. I think that's that's one of the biggest things up to now. And yeah, I think there's much more things we can mm. implement for, for sure. But yeah, the, those solutions, you know, we, we can never come up with, with those things you guys uh, bring to us. You know, when we have a question, you always make sure to, to, to answer it and, and to give us like a solution or a contact person we can reach out to to fix things. 
um, yeah, and also we're looking really forward to, to to getting the structure way better. So that that's also one thing yeah. where we we need to work on. And and yeah, we know for sure that that we can uh, we can we can implement that from you guys. And then yeah, then it will be like really good for us in the future. That is good to hear, bro. Because um, and I think why why that works so well is because just like um, Milan said earlier in the, the interview, right? Uh, because we have icon and that's the same with all the solutions we everything we give we use ourselves most of the time you know and uh, that's also why we can can give it and that's why the maybe other coaches in the space who don't have a brand they cannot come up with solutions uh, solutions like that yeah. so um yeah both of you guys thanks for the interview um also uh, yeah of course thanks for for making time and uh yeah one month in so what i think is uh yeah we just keep going and then by the end of the year uh perhaps we uh, give the people a little update on uh how your guys uh growth yeah. has been yeah. we will we, we will, will give a good update uh in, in <laughs> more December for sure after after q4 yeah crazy I, and q4 is crazy you know that's why right now yeah. i'm i i am out of the operations but i'm still a bit more busy now with icon just because the bro the amount of inventory we got coming like it's millions millions so then Crazy. of course yeah. you want it to go go good right but the, the payout will be insane uh when, when executed uh, properly so but same for you um you sh you should be able to hit the craziest records you've ever done i've now been uh this will be my sixth this will be my sixth black friday in uh, this q4 and um, from from the moment I started with ecom, every Black Friday I've been able to hit a record, or every November I've been able to hit a record month. So there is no, it, it's not even a, uh, up to question, right? If you can guy, uh, guys can do a million that month, you guys should have the goal to do at least a million that month, right? So, um, but by by before leading up to that, of course, we will lay out the full strategy that we use. So people, uh, they cannot say no to you guys' offer. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Yeah, we're looking forward to, to get the, those things and uh, to get to the 1 million plus month. Definitely. For sure, guys. Yeah. All right. Uh, everyone that watched, um, yeah, go leave a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment uh, for uh, Lars and Milan, and uh, I will see you in the next uh, interview.